Today's video is a highly requested recipe which is a Japanese pickled ginger. It tastes a lot more fresh and crunchier than the store-bought one. At the end of this video, I'll show you how to make dressing using leftover liquid of pickled ginger, so stay tuned. We'll need ginger, rice vinegar, sugar, and salt. So let's talk about the ginger. When you pick one from the store, try to find as fresh one as possible with a thin skin and lighter color. We call this shinshoga in Japanese, meaning new ginger, which is abundant in spring. It's less pungent and fibrous, so perfect for a pickle. But I understand not many of you can find this new ginger, so we are opting for the regular ginger today. First, cut off the bumpy part. We're gonna slice it with a peeler or mandolin, so it's better to have a flat surface. Then just remove the skin. I tried once with the skin on and it was too fibrous when you bite into, so I recommend peeling it completely. However, if you are lucky enough to have a new ginger, just scrape off the surface with your spoon to retain the aroma. Then slice it along the grain to retain the pleasant texture. You can also slice with a knife, but you want it to be really thin, almost like a paper thin. So, so it's required a bit of skill. Mandolin is the best tool for this. Just be careful with your hand. <laughs> then into the boiling water, we're gonna blanch and ginger for about one and a half minutes to remove the pungency of ginger. If you are sensitive to the pungency, do another one minute. My recipe is bit on the pungent side, which is exactly how I like it to be. Drain, then let it cool down under the water. When it's safe enough to touch, squeeze the excess water. Sprinkle 1 tablespoon of salt to season the ginger first, leave it for 5 minutes. And after 5 minutes, give it a final squeeze, then set it aside. Next, we're gonna make a marinade. To a saucepan, add 1 cup of rice vinegar and 5 tablespoons of sugar. I'm using kibisato, which is in between the brown sugar and refined sugar. I don't recommend a brown sugar since it's too overpowering, but any other sugar should work. Bring it to the stove and cook it over mid heat until it comes to a boil and sugar is fully dissolved. Which took me only a couple of minutes. This process will offset the tartness of vinegar and make it mild in taste. My recipe is on the tangy and pungent side compared to the store-bought one, so feel free to adjust your liking by adding less vinegar or more sugar. All the detailed adjustment is written on the blog, the link is on the description box below. Off the heat and let it cool down. Into the clean glass jar, place ginger, make sure to squeeze all the moisture before you add in. It will allow your pickle ginger to be bold in taste. Then pour the marinade. Let it submerge and close the lid. My hand smells like a ginger and I love this gingery smell. I was sniffing and my husband made a fun of me. Who else like the ginger smell? Keep it in the fridge for overnight and ready to be enjoyed. It will last up to three weeks. <laughs> Guys, this is not the end of this video. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious dressing using this leftover marinade liquid. So stay tuned. Before that, let's go to the Japan trip with my family. Request for reserve seat ticket. We need 
need to find Say you'll go Don't make me wait There's no need to the color of your eyes blue is your heart it's been like that from the start say you'll stay till the morning すごい。何これ。うわ。うわ。うわ。うわ。うわ。うわ。うわ。うわ。うわ。うわ。うわ。うわ。うわ。うわ。うわ。うわ。うわ。うわ。うわ。うわ。うわ。うわ。うわ。